Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I work in our conservation education department as part of the SPARC team. My job is to get our guests excited about saving wildlife. And one of the ways we do this is by introducing our guests to our amazing ambassador animals. And boy, do we have a very special animal for you guys to meet today. I can't wait for you guys to meet my little buddy, Lunchbox. Lunchbox is a three-toed box turtle. Lunchbox can do something special that turtles, most other turtles, can't do. When she feels threatened, she can pull her arms, her legs, her head, and her cute little tail inside of her shell and close it like a lid on a box. And boy, can she close her shell tight. When a box turtle shell is closed, it's almost impossible for, for anything to get through it. It's a very strong shell. And what I think is even cooler is that it's part of her body. Lunchbox has a backbone, just like you have a backbone. She has ribs, just like you have ribs. They're all attached to her shell. And she has nerve endings in her shell so she can feel. Turtles can feel when we touch them. Some of our turtles here at the Houston Zoo even lift up their backside like a puppy does when we scratch them on their shells because it feels so good. When you get the right spot, it's very adorable. Now we have these guys right here in Houston, Texans, Texas. These guys, you might have seen them. Have any of you guys ever seen a box turtle in the wild? Maybe even in your neighborhood or on a hike? These guys live right here in Houston. A lot of times they live near water. They live in wooded areas, marshy areas. Um, because they like to eat all of the yummy little bugs and plants that live around the water. And that, there's a really, really easy way that we can help these guys in the wilds because they live near water. And that's by cutting down on our single-use plastics. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Plastics are great. We use plastics every day. But the plastics we want to cut down on are those one-and-done type of plastics. You know, the kind that we use just one time and then throw away. Things like plastic bags that we get at the grocery store or at the convenience store, um, plastic water bottles, soda bottles, and straws. We use a lot of straws only one time and then we throw them away. Now, these plastics end up in our waterways and little turtles, like my friend here, Lunchbox, can mistake them for a delicious snack and they can eat them and get sick. Could you imagine when, if you're really hungry and you're crawling around looking for something great to eat and there it is, the most delicious juicy berry you have ever seen and you're ready to get all the juice from that berry, you take a big bite and ouch, it is really sharp and really hard. It tastes very stale because it's not a berry at all. It's a piece of a plastic bottle cap. That would really hurt and there's no Pepto-Bismol in the wild. So that is gonna really hurt and can make you very sick. So just by reducing those single use plastics, we can help these guys out in a big way. Um, so right now we're celebrating Plastic Free July and that doesn't mean getting rid of all plastics. It just means cutting down and making good habits on getting rid of those single use plastics. So this month we challenge you guys to just choose one thing. You don't have to do it all at once, but just choose one way to reduce your single-use plastics. Think maybe you want to bring a reusable bag to the grocery store, or even when you go to the grocery store and you're just carrying just one or two items, you don't even need a bag. Just skip the bag altogether. Um, you could use a reusable water bottle. I love using reusable water bottle because I can decorate it with stickers. You can make it all your own. You can draw on it. That's a fun way to drink your drinks. You could also skip the straw when you go out to eat. I know whenever I go out to eat, go to fast food restaurants, you know, there's always a straw that goes in. So if you can remember to ask your wait staff, your server to please skip the straw, it's a simple way to help box turtles in the wild. Now, like I said, these guys do live near water, but if you look up close and see Lunchbox here, you'll see that her body really is adapted for water. These guys live mostly on land. Turtles that live in the water have webbed feet. They've got a flatter shell that helps them to swim. You'll notice her cute little feet have claws on them. They're not webbed. Her shell is really round, which is great when she wants to of her body parts in, inside of it, but her body is not used, not made for swimming. These guys, they do get in the shower. They 
you like to enjoy that, but you're not going to see them in a deep pond swimming. Oh, we've got a question and somebody's asking what food does Lunchbox have here? All right, look at her delicious salad. Maybe you guys will see some things you like to eat. How many of you like to eat fruits and veggies? Mmm, she's got a beautiful spa salad here. She's got blueberries. You guys like blueberries at home? She's got some carrots, some lettuce. It's a great salad and ooh, what is she going to go for? She also has a delicious earthworm. Do any of you guys like to eat earthworms at home? Lunchbox loves earthworms. Oh, now she's laying on her salad. Sometimes that's fun too. When you're a turtle, if you decide you want to lay on your salad, that's okay. <laughs> we'll see if she decides to eat some of that salad in just a little bit. In the wild, these guys will eat anything from worms to snails, slugs. Oh, they eat so many things. Little mammals, all kinds of plants, fruit. They'll even sometimes eat carrion. So think decaying critters, dead critters. Sometimes that's what they'll eat as well. She is not a picky eater. She is a very, very good eater. Now, I want to see if you guys, when you look at her up close, I'm going to turn her around towards you guys. I want you to see her beautiful eyes. Do you guys see what color her eyes are? They're kind of a pretty brown, brownish color. You can tell the difference between a boy box turtle and a girl box turtle by looking at their beautiful eyes. Girls have more of a kind of a brown eye. Boys have a bright, bright or a red eye. I think that's really neat that you can tell them apart that way. All right, hi, Selena. Selena asks, how old is Lunchbox and how long do they live? Selena, that is an awesome question because as you can see, Lunchbox is really tiny, but she's not a baby. She is 12 years old, so she's like a preteen right now. She's 12 years old, but she live a very long time. Box turtles can live to be in their 50s, and even sometimes they can live to be 100 years old. That is a long, long life. So she is still pretty young here. Sometimes people get box turtles that's not realizing how long they live. And you know, as a middle-aged person myself, if I were to get a box turtle, they might outlive me. So it might not be the smartest pet for me to get. And she's really climbing here on her. Back. So where um, our friend Lunchbox lives in the zoo, she has a big, big area that has lots of wonderful tunnels and things for her to burrow in. These guys love to burrow. She has a beautiful water area to play in. So she's got the best of, of, of the environment that she needs to have a happy life. Let's see if we can get her to enjoy her earthworm today. So you guys wanna get a close up this. Anybody hungry? Mmm, yum. Let's see if she'll like it. Oh, let's see. You want an earthworm today? What's that? Oh, she's moving on. She's got a lot on her plate today. Oh, someone is asking, what are some things we can do to help save turtles in the wild? And I love that question. For my friends that are just getting here, one way that we can help turtles in the wild, even box turtles like Lunchbox here, the ones that live near water, is by reducing our single use plastics. Because a lot of those plastics do end up in our waterways. Uh, so we're not talking about getting rid of all plastics, just those products that we use consume so much of uh, things like plastic bags, uh, plastic bottles like soda bottles and water bottles. We want to cut down on those because we do use a lot of them and they end up in the water and these guys mistake them for food and they can get sick. So that's an easy way. Another way to help them, if you guys see the, them in your neighborhood, 
um, just gently pick them up if they're on the road, gently pick them up and put them in a spot where they are out of the way of cars. Um, but you definitely do not want to throw them in a pond because they do like the shallow areas uh, in water, but they don't do well in the deep areas. These guys are clumsy swimmers. Uh, their bodies are not built for swimming. And she's kind of showing you her cute clumsy body right now. These guys are not built for, sw for swimming. You can see she doesn't have those webbed feet. She, um, she's got that rounded shell. And so, yeah, being in the shallow end is just fine for her. Hey, Alora. Alora is asking, what are the white spots on her neck? Those are her beautiful markings. She does have pretty spots in her, on her body that help keep her camouflaged. Boys, the male box turtles will have even brighter spots that really show off to the girls. That's, that's what they like to wear for clothing. Turtles, they use colors to show off for each other. Thanks for that question, Alora. That was a great question. All right, it looks like we have a question for Vicki. Oh, and you ask, Vicki, what, asks what food most? Well, this little lady loves her earthworms and I'm surprised that she's not eating her earthworm at the moment because usually she gobbles them down. Maybe she's being a little camera shy this morning. She loves earthworms and she also loves to eat little tiny mice, small little mice. That is a yummy treat for her. She also loves strawberries. Does anyone at home like strawberries? Lunchbox loves a great strawberry, especially on a hot day like today. Thanks for that question, V. All right. Well, we are so appreciative of you guys joining us here today to meet our wonderful friend, Lunchbox. And we hope that you'll get inspired to reduce one single use plastic this month that maybe you can take that habit into the years to come. Don't overwhelm yourself. Pick one thing, maybe bring those reusable bags to the grocery store, um, skip the straw. Just one thing to help our friends like Lunchbox help turtles in the wild. Thank you guys so much. We hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks everyone.